Here, let us do more problems on parallel lines. These are supposed to be hard. Okay, in this particular question, in the figure shown, this is the figure, we need to show that AB is parallel to EF. So, this is what we need to prove here. So, now we have angle BCD equals angle BCE plus angle ECD. That is because this line splits the angle BCE. This total angle BCD is a summation of BCE and DCE or ECD. So, we have angle BCE equals 36 degrees plus 30 degrees. So, that we have 66 degrees. This total equals 66 degrees. So, therefore, angle BCD equals angle ABC. Here it is, angle ABC. So, if this is 66 and this is 66, these two are definitely equal to each other. Now, thus, the lines AB and CD are intersected by the line BC such that angle ABC equals angle BCD. That shows these two are alternate angles and they are equal. So, from this, we can establish that AB is definitely parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. Now, angle ECD plus angle CEF is equal to 30 degrees plus 150 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees. So, we have angle ECD plus angle CEF equal to 30 degrees plus 150 degrees which is nothing but 180 degrees. Now, this shows that the sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversal CE is 180 degrees. Now, if we consider CE as a transversal, these two angles, now, say we can slightly even draw dotted lines, like this. These two angles are on the same side of the transversal and their sum is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, they are supplementary. This shows that CD is parallel to EF. So, if AB is parallel to EF and if EF is parallel to CD, then we can say that AB is definitely parallel to EF. And hence, we have shown that AB is parallel to EF.